We have breaking updates coming in. Hezbollah has appointed a successor to Nasrallah. Hashim Sefidin will now succeed. That's the update that has come in. Remember, Hezbollah had responded to Israel's airstrike by saying that the fight is going to continue. My colleague Rishabh is joining us on the broadcast with the details. Rishabh, uh, Hezbollah appointing a successor to Nasrallah. What are the details? Do we uh, know details of uh, the person who has now been appointed? Well, definitely. Uh, Sefidin is was the the, uh, uh, the executive leader of uh, Hezbollah before uh, he has now been elevated to the secretary general post. Remember, uh, Nasrallah has been secretary general of Hezbollah for almost three decades now. And on Friday, in an airstrike, Israel eliminated him uh, in Beirut, where six buildings were targeted by uh, Israeli forces, li leaving uh, uh, Nasrallah and many other Hezbollah leaders dead. Now. Uh, Sefadin has been uh, appointed the secretary general. He has been the executive leader and was majorly, uh, you know, involved in the diplomatic as well as bureaucratic uh, negotiations with Lebanon, Iran, and other uh, friendly countries of Hezbollah till now. But now he will be at the helm of affairs. Okay. All right, Rishabh. Thank you for joining us with those details. All right, let's uh, shift our attention now and get you more details that are coming in. Hours after Israel announced Nasrallah's death, Hezbollah has confirmed the loss of its leader. In the statement, the group vowed to keep fighting against Israel and to support Gaza and Palestine. Hamas also reacted, saying that Nasrallah's death would only strengthen the resistance. In response to the killing, Iran has now conveyed a meeting of leaders from the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to discuss the situation in Lebanon and Palestine. Sources indicate that Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has moved to a secure location overnight. Khamenei also released a statement accusing Israel of targeting defenseless civilians and labeling it as policies as insane. U.S. President Joe Biden called the Israeli airstrike that killed Hezbollah's Hassan Nasrallah a measure of justice for its four-decade reign of terror. In the first public remarks since the killing, Netanyahu has said that the killing of top Hezbollah commanders was not enough and he decided Nasrallah also needed to be killed. The Israeli Prime Minister said that assassinating the Hezbollah leader became an essential condition for Israel to achieve its war goals. He blamed Nasrallah for being the architect of a plan to annihilate Israel. In fact, Netanyahu repeated his threat against Iran as well. מדינת ישראל חיסלה אתמול את רב המרצחים חסן נסראללה. סגרנו חשבון עם מי שאחראי לרצח אין ספור ישראלים ואזרחים רבים של מדינות אחרות, כולל מאות אמריקנים ועשרות צרפתים. בתחילת השבוע הגעתי למסקנה שהמכות העוצמתיות שצה"ל הנחית על חיזבאללה בימים האחרונים, המכות האלה לא יספיקו. חיסולו של נסראללה הוא תנאי הכרחי להשגת היעדים שהצבנו. החזרת תושבי הצפון בבטחה לבתיהם ושינוי מאזן הכוחות באזור לאורך שנים. כי כל עוד נסראללה חי, הוא היה משקם במהירות את היכולות שגרענו מחיזבאללה. ולכן נתתי את ההנחיה ונסראללה כבר לא איתנו. Okay,